as I mentioned, what, what, what I'm trying to do in the next half to pick the big ones. So the big ones we want to look at, we want to be looking at doing the dollar Swiss. Uh, we want to be doing maybe the pound CAD. And we want to be doing the Euro Aussie. And maybe the pound Aussie. So these are the fours we're going to look at. The pound, the, the pound CAD, the pound Aussie, the Euro Aussie, and the dollar Swiss. We can also look at the Aussie Swiss and we can also look at the CAD Swiss which I think would be better also to look at all these because again we're shorting the Swiss across the board. All right. So let's start with the dollar Swiss. And looking at your radar screen the only pair that we're actually in the dollar that is green is the dollar swiss it's our structure point is the 93.39 and ours this was the buy from last week and we closed the week at 93.44 so this makes our short trade easy that oh come on stupid trade station so as you can see on your day on the daily chart we are the dollar has been pushing higher against the swiss and this is your 9339 and we have come and closed above it and we closed the week at 93.44 so our bias we're looking for the trend to continue higher the next significant point is the 99 i'm sorry the 94.20 which we're only about 80 pips away from that which is good so our sell is easy we know we're above the 93.39 so we're basically buyers we're going to find a place to buy but we know exactly where we're going to sell because as soon as it goes below the 93.39 this is where our bias flips it's like the 131.99 so for this we are only going to go short below 93.39 39 that is going to be our short point it's going to be our structure short point and it is going to be our short stop on the long side i'm going to, we're going to look at the intraday chart and as you can see how it's a it's a pretty good trend to the upside i mean you do have a nice congestion that was your structure point the 99 92.99 we broke to the upside and we are still above and if you look at this this is when i really my heart warms look at the daily high and look at the structure point 99 the structure significant point that we have identified from ages ago has happened to be also the high of the day this is not what i'm trying to tell you is this is the language of the market we are trying to identify price points that the market truly respects and if we have something like this a significant point that has been going back ages and we find that most recently in it is the point that has been respected by the market. It's also the high of the day. This now gives you a higher level of confidence in your numbers that you have done specifically with regards to the dollar Swiss today, a good job by identifying this point. So where are we going to buy it right here? I have a market side at 93.54. The other side of the range is about 93.65. So we will buy it above the other side of the range we will buy it above 93.65 and i'm going to put my stop 
below the structure short point. So my stop is going to be right there below the structure short point. Okay? And so for the dollar Swiss, I am buying it above 93.65. My stop is going to be the 99. My structure long point is going to be the 94.20. And my stop is going to be the 93.39 for both my long and my short position. So for the dollar Swiss, we are going to buy it above 93.65. I have a structure long point at 94.20 and my stop is going to be the 93.39. On the short side, I'm going to go short below the structure short point. That's going to be my short and it's going to be my structure short and my short stop. Okay, that is the dollar Swiss. Let me see.